So I'm gonna show you some more examples of how you could use GPT with Leonardo AI to generate some game assets. One of the models that I'm gonna use is called RPG4. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provide a prompt. Um, this is uh, some work that I was doing with Leonardo earlier in the day, so I'm just gonna use the same chat. And I'm gonna prompt it. I'm gonna say, hey, I'd like to use a completely different model of Leonardo AI than the one I was just using. And I'm gonna describe the model and then give it some example prompts of this model. So the way I did that is we go down here and you click on something, you can get the prompt details. And what I did is I just fed those in to just uh, give it some sort of idea of how to describe a, a prompt for this type of model. And so from there, uh, what we're gonna do is then move to say, okay, how can we get uh, 20 new characters based on the game Red Dead Redemption 2? I'm gonna say, hey, I want you to create some character concepts based off that game and then develop prompts that would show these characters in the style of that game. Give me the character ideas and the prompts together so I can pass them to Leonardo AI. So that's basically the entire prompt. I'm gonna go in here and say generate with this model. I'm gonna see what um, sort of stuff we're getting. And so let's see. Okay, I'm getting a character idea. And then let's see what I can do. I'm gonna take this, throw it in here, and we'll see what we get. And saloon owner and singer, very cool. All right, pretty cool. So I've got this, um, but what I'm seeing is we get too many fingers. Um, the gun is shaped all weird. This one's pretty good. Um, this one has two. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now, based off of this, just to conserve my tokens, is I'm gonna pass that feedback back. I'm gonna say uh, the last prompt style needs negative prompts added and also had issues like too many fingers um, duplicate character visuals and I'll say like ie two of the same character the frame and the guns were shaped strangely one thing that's interesting about these models is they are really bad with guns, even though that is a really strong um, item for the, a lot of video games. So um, let's see, I'm gonna ask for it to change the prompt. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add room for a negative prompt. Okay. Type in the negative prompt, type in the Positive prompt and see what that that gives us. And then I'm gonna throw some of these other things, right? So saloon owner and singer. Okay, the guns are still weird. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a little candy, and the arms are deformed. So it's a little bit jacked up. Um, I'm gonna try and see if we can swing for another one. Okay, so we got a saloon owner. It's a pretty cool concept. All this stuff is a little bit jacked up in terms of the, the visuals are not all the way there. And even with putting the uh, the negative prompts in there, it's still having an issue. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say, uh, the issues still persist. I need more detail to make these prompts better. Can you?
Okay, so I'm just like kind of refining on the fly based off of what I'm seeing because effectively what I'm doing is passing back and forth from the AI what I'm actually seeing come out of this other system that is prompting for me. So um, I'm asking for, you know, more information. Let me see if this um, does anything. It add, did add a little bit more information like sheriff's uniform, revolver in hand, and that type of stuff. So this one could be um, pretty good, but his leg is sort of growing into the horse. That's one oddity. These guys are the sheriff twins with a kind of jacked up star. This guy's got something on his shoulder. So we could definitely do with something a little bit better. Then let's see what happens if I do some prompt magic. And I'm going to try that. See what that does. And I'm actually going to see what Leonardo's style does. And on the same guy that we've been trying to get right, I'm going to see what happens if just changing some of those parameters, like what that does. We're going to find out here. And I'm hoping that does a little bit better than that. Okay, let's see here. This one's pretty good, but he's kind of fat and growing out of the horse once again. The horse is the sheriff in this one. So that's interesting. Now let's see what happened. I think this is the one with the um, style inserted. So this, this one's uh, better, except for the horse has two nostrils. Basically what I think is you gotta keep swinging on these until you get somewhere. So I'm gonna try a couple different um, Try a couple different um, character prompts. All right, so I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna turn the prompt magic off. Mm, bring in this prospector idea, character idea. Well, let's see. <clears throat> Outlaw with a mysterious past. Do that. And let's look at what we've got so far so now we had the native american scout it's pretty cool definitely in the style of the game i will say that it, it nailed that um maybe not as highly detailed as as the game and we got some weird stuff going on with the feathers too many belts um so that could be some stuff that we try to add into as far as negative prompts and try to get those to work I think this one came out pretty good. This is probably a solid representation of what um, we will want. So I'm actually gonna upscale that one. I think this one is also pretty good as well. Uh, maybe the buttons are a little bit jacked up um, and it's not entirely clear what's going on with this first finger, but I think this is good. So we'll see about that one. Um, this one, I think this is our, our typical, uh, main character almost. Let's see if they'll do, do some more stuff. There's a frontier doctor. I think this is going to be interesting. Frontier doctor, doctor, doc, doctor, uh, strong and independent female rancher. Let's see about that. I'm going to bring this one in. Okay. Let's see what else. Um, so stalled out in nine. Let's say keep going with your your prompts after number nine. I think that there's a prompt where I can just say continue basically. Let's see what we got here. So we got the rancher, um, her face and the animal quite jacked up she is riding a cow that's ex just definitely something um, all right and we got some more information here we got former slave term bounty hunter and that's a good idea I'm gonna try that um, let's see wealthy cattle baron I like all these ideas I think are really good well I got 15 tokens remaining but we are gonna see 
what happens whenever we let's see if we get everything we want here. All right, let's see. This is pretty cool. I don't think that we're getting. Um, uh, I'm not sure what's going on in that hand. This is pretty cool. This reminds me of sort of like Breaking Bad with the, the drug cartel twins. This one is not entirely clear what he's doing. This one, the gun's all jacked up. Um, I think these are pretty good. Uh, I do think it's interesting how you put um, duplicate characters in there, and it did two frames with duplicate characters, even though the negative prompt was there. So I think that's not, that's definitely not ideal. Um, I am going to try to upscale um, this one. I'm going to try this uh, HD upscale. Um, this will cost me five tokens. So I think we're, I think we're on our last one. But um, yeah, so I think I can't actually do anything else more than this. But for now, I just want to show you, here's how far I got. And here's kind of how, um, you know, this, this works, right? So this is how I was, um, you know, this is how I got the prompt to build. This is how everything turned out. Um, and this is sort of, you know, it's definitely in the style of the game. You obviously have to be a little bit, uh, you gotta be picky with what you get. I think our frontier doctor turned out pretty interesting. A stethoscope did not work out. Um, I think this one's pretty good right here. Yeah, overall, really cool that we can create our own type of characters. We could describe them, give them a name, um, and ultimately get them to be be whatever we want. And we're using ChatGPT to develop these prompts, and then we're telling ChatGPT to refine the prompt based off what we feel should happen. And you know, we just keep just keep working that working that logic back and forth between these two systems, and we keep getting better and better and better prompts. Um, obviously there is some limitation and, you know, I think that negative prompts, I think there's a lot to learn there based off of how these are being applied. Um, I think with, you know, some of these, you need to add additional terms like, uh, more than one character or duplicate character or, um, uh, copy of character or some, some additional language there to actually get the prompt to not make you. Uh, some situation that is like this. But overall, if you hung out with me here, thanks for thanks for checking it out. I think that we um, think that this is an interesting process to learn all this stuff. And um, I hope that this was helpful. All right, have a good one.